What's going on everybody, Kwaku here. Today I bring you an app review. Again, it's been a while since I've done an app review, but today's app review is gonna be one that I actually use quite a bit. It is Pinterest. I didn't know they had a, an app for Windows 10, but I use it on the iPad. So let's take a look at it and see how it looks. And let's do the little usual checklist whether or not it has the fluent design language style that I like so much in this video. So here we are looking at Pinterest for Windows 10. Right now off the bat, I'll tell you that I'm comparing this a lot to the iPad version that I normally use. It is very, very similar. There's just some interface changes that you'll see in later on in this video of what the differences are. But other than that, it's very just straightforward and streamlined. It, it works very well, very familiar to play with. Um, one thing that it is not, and I guess it's just because Pinterest is such a big entity, it is not even close to fluent. It doesn't have any fluent design elements whatsoever. It's just Pinterest being Pinterest. There's not, they're not trying to uh, act like, they're not trying to adopt a design language based on the OS that they're on. Pinterest looks like Pinterest on everything that you access it on. Um, so going in, you have the P logo, you got your home today, search, and then you got your notifications, you got your inbox, and then you got your profile, and then you got this drop down arrow which shows you just more options such as settings, tune your feed, and all these things that give you links to other places. So starting with the home view, the home view again is the basic view. As soon as you open up Pinterest, it's the first thing you'll see. It has to do with things based tailored on your feed, on what you've pinned and what you've uh, saved to your boards and all that stuff like that. So I've posted a lot of, I've actually liked a lot of things that are basically food. I'm just obsessed with food, technology, and cars. That's pretty much everything that I ever look at um, when it comes to the internet. Uh, so going down, you can see a whole lot of car stuff, a whole lot of food stuff. There are some clothing things. Um, so one thing also that I'll tell you guys is when you have a pin that a thing that you can pin that is or save that is uh, says promoted by such as promoted by old El Paso or promoted by Cadillac these take you directly out from Pinterest they take you into your web browser um, so if you click on them they don't show you an in, like an internal view they show you the, it's just a link to a website whereas like raspberry uh, what is this raspberry lemon cake if I click on that you can see that it opens up more into Pinterest and if I go full screen you can see you can see more and the recommended things which if you're familiar with Pinterest you know exactly how this is this fish looks really good <laughs> but going away from that you can see that there's other things you can do with it so there's the, when you click into a, a I'm gonna call it a pin I don't know exactly what to call it there's a lot of elements in there um, but it's very familiar of if you're a person who knows about Pinterest, then you'll know what these are. You click this drop down, you can save the image, which saves this raspberry lemon cake image. You can hide the pin, report the pin, or embed the pin, basically allowing you to put the pin on your website or a website. Um, clicking on the pin itself brings you up to the website that the creator put it, got it from, or they saved it to, or whoever it is. So if these people are the ones that created this pin, it'll take you straight to that website. So going in further, you can see that this right here is basically just a share button. And then when you hit this drop down here, this lets you save it to various boards. So I have stuff to try and I have recipes. If I want to save it to stuff to try, I can just highlight it, hit save, and then it's saved to stuff to try and so on like that. And you can follow these people. And they have a lot of followers, clearly. You can see comments of it without having to go to their website, which is amazing. These are Pinterest-based comments, not website comments. So it's it's a really nice, nice app, honestly. If you have a Surface device, if you have like a Surface Book 3, if you have a Surface Pro 7 or Surface Pro 7 Plus or any of those devices that are more tablet-like um, that you can make it as a tablet, this is a solid app for that. Um, to use on that. You can see Today View. Today View just gives you basically inspiration across all of Pinterest, things that you might want to look at deeper. And then again, your updates shows you just updates on the boards that you're or the pins that you've been looking at. So you can see all the little things. Birria tacos I was looking at previously. Um, you can also see again your inbox, people you should follow, suggested, things like that. It says Pinterest sent a board. You click on it. It's just messages. And then you got your profile, like I showed you in the beginning, that lets you do various things with your profile. So overall, 
Pinterest, like I said, Pinterest is, this app is really good. This is one of the few apps on the Microsoft store that has complete five stars. Um, I don't know if it really deserves the five stars. Personally, for me, uh, being a critic of, of apps, that's just what I do. Um, this app probably would be like four and a half stars just because the layout is kind of boring looking. It's kind of ugly. Um, in fact, just looking at right here, the layout right here between these two, the division line, there's no division between recipes and gadgets. And even here, it looks like something is off kilter. It's, it's just weird looking. Whereas right here, you see where there's supposed to be white space over here. There's no white space. Now, if I shrink it down, there's still no white space there. It's just, I don't understand. Um, there's some problems with the UI, but I guess the most people who will use this application don't care about that as long as it just works. It doesn't, they don't really care how much, how good it looks. Um, as long as it isn't terribly ugly and terribly hard to use. And honestly, this application is not terribly ugly or terribly hard to use. It's just not fluent, which is what I like to see. It doesn't follow any platforms design language such as Apple's or Android's material design or Microsoft's fluent UI or fluent design language. It doesn't follow any of it. It follows Pinterest's design language. And that's the only thing that would probably for me knock it down to a four and a half. Um, but definitely still take a look at it. One last thing to look at is this drop down arrow that I talked about earlier. This allows you to um, add an account, unlock business tools. So if you're a business, you can get people on there you can track things and then settings so we click on settings you can see first and last name some information you can see the link to your personal pinterest uh profile you can see account settings uh basically lets you connect to facebook and all the various things so you got your home feed here it lets you basically tune your home feed to whatever it is you want to do um you can turn off various items so they don't show up and then it doesn't recommend those items into your home feed it's a very nice um not, very nice application it's it's very solid you can see i'm obsessed with cars like i just have a problem that i'm obsessed with cars uh but it's very good it's it's very very good you can narrow it in by your history tune your home feed by your history tune your home feed by topics boards or even profiles and then going down further you can see get help see terms and privacy and log out and then you can also add pins as well create a pin you click that it lets you create a pin and do whatever else you want to do so you can become like uh i guess you call them a pinner or something i don't know but yeah that is it that is pinterest hope you guys like it let me know if you guys use pinterest i know a number of you use pinterest even though you'll never admit it um that's just how we guys are but hey i'm admitting it right now um it's a nice application it's free on everything um it's got some ads but you won't even notice because they're kind of baked into the boards as promotions see promoted by casper here so yeah, let me just leave you guys here with this screen looking at a bunch of food and I'll catch you guys later. And uh, previously I did a potential uh, dev channel build that is going to be uploaded today of recording Wednesday. So take a look at that as well if you want. All right, everybody take care.